Good morning and this Tuesday welcome to our daily prayers together. Once again I'm going to use that Celtic prayer that um, I've really enjoyed using for myself. One of the phrases is Christ behind me, Christ before me. There's a real sense of God protecting us both from where we've been and where we're going and so as we begin to pray this morning I hope this prayer helps you to know God's presence with you and for you. Christ be with me, Christ within me, Christ behind me, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger. Our reading today is taken from Philippians 3 <clears throat> at verse 7. Paul has just been talking about his um, confidence, confidence in his own abilities, but then says, but whatever were gains to me, and he's just thought about those things, <clears throat> I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage, that I may gain Christ and be found in him. Paul's doing an interesting thing here. I remember trying to write a talk on this and just really having to get my head around what he was saying. So basically he's talked about his achievements in the verses before but says well whatever gain they were for me and he's now using a sort of um, merchant term whatever gains to me I now consider loss but the key is for the sake of Christ. In other words his gains when compared to what he's found in Christ are minimized to nothing. In fact he goes further than that he says actually what I gain in Christ I now consider loss in terms of my own achievements. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ and be found in him not having a righteousness of my own. It's a wonderful summary and here's someone who had every reason to be proud of his achievements but he knows his identity the foundation of his life is not those things it's the righteousness he gains in Christ. Can you and I say the same that actually compared to knowing Christ all the achievements of our life are tiny compared to what Christ has done for us. I don't mean to minimize your achievements or even mine they are significant and sometimes we ought to be proud of them but compared to what we gain in Christ then we can see them in their true perspective. Heavenly Father thank you for Paul's attitude drawing us towards the immensity of what we find in you that our own achievements are as of nothing and certainly our own achievements don't contribute to us becoming any more your children. Help us to know upon what foundations we build our lives, that of Christ and Christ alone. Space for our prayers.
So as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.